Welcome back everyone to Tyson's Tennis Tips and Wimbledon Daily. We are on the second week, second Monday, day seven, and we're giving you again our matches of the day and our wildcard predictions of the day. So, starting off, men's side, Neil's match of the day. What are we going for? The maestro, Roger Federer, the eight-time champion versus the very elegant Italian, Lorenzo Sonego. Um, obviously, everybody loves Federer. Um, Federer is doing very well this year, actually. He got very lucky in the first round. He's been doing really well in the second and third round. He is playing an Italian who's got a very big serve, big forehand. Um, mentally quite strong, actually. He knows what he's doing, knows what he needs to do to play on grass. He's got the right game, got the right height. I think for me now, it's just a question of who's going to be on the better form that day. Um, we know that Sonega's going to have the crowd against him because it is Roger Federer at the end of the day. Absolutely. So yeah. we'll have to see. Match the day. Big one there, Sam. Big match. Um, Jaya, we're looking forward to that one, aren't we, on, the, on centre court uh, on day seven. Um, what do you think Sonega needs to do, Jaya, to, to, to get the win there? So we're going to come back, back to Neil. So I've got a sneaky feeling that could be another wild card shout. But uh, Jaya, what do you think he's got to do to, to get past the Swiss maestro? Well, obviously, like Neil has said, Sonega is very much in form at the moment. He, has a good, he had a good run at Eastbourne. So um, his game is very well suited to the grass. Great serve really good forehand so he can move his opponents around really easily from the back of the court um i'd like him to mix it up a little bit though because federer can absorb the power so well and if he just goes baseline to baseline um i think federer is going to find it quite an easy match against negus so he has to mix it up he has to come to the net uh, we know the grass is playing up a little bit slower at the moment so he's going to have to be creative with how he um, um comes across and um, tries to beat federer Absolutely. And uh, Niels, here's your wildcard prediction of the day. Don't know how popular that's going to be, but um, yeah, yeah, I don't us, know. Uh, I'm kind of getting myself against the crowd there. I'm going to have to disagree with Jai on that one. I think if Sonego can actually play for a lot of power, Federer, the Federer backhand, and a lot of people are going to hate me for that, is quite weak. It's not as strong, and he's been going with the slice for most of the tournament. If we look at all his matches so far, most of that has been a lot of slicing. So I think Sonego's back and forth and is very solid and very powerful. I think if he plays his cards right and makes sure that he rides from the baseline, goes to the Federer backhand, he has a chance. I'm going to have to say Sonego in five. Very unpopular wow. opinion, but I'm going to stick to my guns here, Sam. Wow. Okay, that is, I think that's the biggest prediction we've, we've heard so far since these podcasts, the Wimbledon Daily podcast began. Jaya, are you ready for the women's side match of the day? Tell us more. Yeah, Sam, um, I'm going for the young Coco Goff um, against Kerber. Uh, I think it's going to be a great match. Obviously, Kerber is in good form, um, ex world number one in the world. Um, you know, great game, really good hustler from the back of the court. Hasn't got maybe the most power, but she can run down every ball, really neutralizes the ball very well, especially against uh, the power that we're going to see uh, with Goff. So it's going to be an interesting matchup for sure, but there's going to be a lot of sort of very variation in Kerber if she wants to um, do any damage against Goff because we know how much power she can get on the grass courts at uh, Wimbledon. Absolutely. And just a quick shout out for our Wimbledon predictions video that we did a couple of weeks back before uh, before the tournament obviously began, we had a very, very popular video. So have a little look, have a look and see who uh, Jaira and myself on that one, who we predicted to be the outright winner um, at Wimbledon. And just again, leave your comments below. How do you think we're getting on with those predictions? Um, and what did you think before obviously, well, going into the second week? Where do you think we're at with those predictions as well? Um, Jai, I'm going to come back to you now for your wildcard prediction. We've heard Neil's on the uh, men's side, so we'll stick on the men's side. Wildcard prediction, Jai, who are you going for? So I'm, I'm going for uh, Felix Ujali Asim to take out Zverev. Um, Zverev obviously had that lovely run to the US Open. So he's starting to sort of get to the business ends of these Grand Slam tournaments, but still not quite there yet. And I just feel Felix, he has the game to do some damage against these top players in the world. Um, and um, even though he, he, did, he did beat Nick Kyrgios, uh, even though Nick Kyrgios had to retire, he is through to the second week. He's got the confidence and um, he's going to have to definitely adapt his game style, though. I feel like his court position against someone at such attacking like Zverev, he has to come a little bit tighter to the baseline, take the ball slightly earlier because we know how flat Zverev hits the ball. Felix Ujali Asim hits a little bit more spin. 
a little bit more height. And I think he's going to just have to adapt that and refocus on his first strike game. Really think about his first serve and his first strike after the serve to restart to move um, further around. No, it sounds great. I mean, say, Niels, have you got a prediction on, on, on that? Which is a big call. I mean, Zverev has been, he's got a bit under the radar, hasn't he, I think, so far um, at Wimbledon this year. Have you, have you got a, a score prediction? Uh, I mean, I, I personally love Felix Sojeli. I think he's got a proper head on his shoulders. Everybody has only spoken positively about him. He is, a, he is the rising star of the ATP Tour. Um, he's very mature. I'm going to have to agree with John on that one. I'm going to have to say five sets to Mr. Ali Asim. I am going to go against you guys. I think Zverev has got a bit more to his game than you guys make out. Ali Asim, to be honest with you, I haven't seen too much of him so far at, at Wimbledon. So probably not the best to, to give a, a huge uh, prediction on that on that game. But Zverev, for me, whenever I watch him play, I always, I think he did, for, for someone of his height, he moves so well. So I'm going to disagree. I'm going to go Zverev in four sets for that one. But we'll see. End of, end of the day. How we all get on. Okay, finishing up then, Niels, the wild card on the women's side. Who are you going for? Uh, that is quite a big match. So Iga Swiatek, the seventh seed versus Unjabur, the 21st seed. If we remember correctly, Unjabur took out Venus Williams, 7 6 6 love. By the yeah. way, they both said they respect each other immensely. So there we go, just so we remember that. Unjabur, again, is the first Arabian player to ever win a title, which is just unbelievable. And Iga Swiatek is an ex uh, French Open champion in 2020. Um, she was an ex number one. She's currently number nine in the world. Um, amazing player, really good player, no, very, very smart, very high tennis IQ. And uh, Unja Burr really just, just in form right now. She, anything she touches turns to gold. Um, so I'm going to have to say Unja Burr to beat Swiatek in straight sets. So, Niels, what, what is it about Andre Burr that's made us so effective on the grass courts and make this brilliant run at Wimbledon? She's just very tactical. I mean, to compare her to a male player, I'd compare her to Adrian Manorino. If you look at the way he was playing in Federer, she's tactically just so sound. She knows exactly what she needs to do. She knows, the, she knows the grass is slow. She knows she needs to go for rallies. She knows that she needs to keep it diverse. And she just, she just needs to change the tempo. If you play the same thing over and over and over again, Iga Swiatek has got very strong ground strokes, very solid. So she needs to make sure she keeps the opponent sort of guessing. And I think that's what she's been doing incredibly well all tournaments. So um, there we go. Score prediction. Big match. I'm going to say straight, straight sets to Ons Jabeur. Big call there, but she's oh. just been incredible all, all, all tournaments. So. Against Swiatek. I don't know. Jaya, score prediction for that one? Uh, I'm going to have to go for the top <laughs> speed. Swiatek. I'm going to be controversial and I'm going to go for Swiatek in three. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play safe. Swiatek two sets for me. Gonna get the Ooh. job done in two sets. But Neil, we we know Jabur how you know, how how amazing she's been in the tournament so far. So who's to back against her? Who's to go against your prediction there after what happened before? So we will see what happens. Um, the podcast, the daily Wimbledon Daily, continues tomorrow, where we will start giving our predictions as we enter well towards the quarter final stages of the competition. So as the days go on, we'll still be giving our match of the day and a wild card, but we might turn our attention a bit more to individual predictions for each game as the matches become fewer and fewer as the days go on. We're not far away now until obviously the weekend where we'll be seeing the women's final and the men's final. We cannot wait for that. I've got a funny feeling as well, guys, our uh, attire, our dress attire might be becoming a bit more uh, what's the word to use? A bit more smart, shall professional, we say. Professional, professional, so to speak. Professional. I'm, I'm yeah. trying to get there on uh, on day seven. Um, but um, yeah, we're looking uh, looking forward to that. So as always, guys, leave your comments below on the on uh, World of Daily podcast. Who do you think on day seven is going to cause a little bit of an upset? Uh, do you agree with our matches of the day as well? We'd love to hear from you as always. The three of us will be back very soon. In the meantime, enjoy all the tennis at SW19. We'll see you soon. Yes,